back to your room. This is my wife. You'll get your phone call in a minute. Get a blood sample. It could be an emergency. We can send an NYPD cruiser by your place right now if you'd like. Freeze! This is the caption of this show that encapsulizes the whole entire season. Let's get into it. Woo! Feeling like Ric Flair. Finally got something to be excited about when we had a little bit of a drought in TV shows. What's good, life gainers? It's the all-knowing, all-loving, all-feeling, all-seeing, all-powerful. Just damn all everything. And we are excited as hell today. Power has returned. Season 4, episode 1 was out of this world. Phenomenal setup for a season. Whether you love them or you hate them, you got to give 50 Cent credit on this one. My hat's off to him because this show is one of the hardest shows that has ever been created. Excellent work, great storyline. It has your drama, your drugs, your, your husbands, your drug lord kingpins with all their wives, the brotherhood and the drug, it's got everything. Corrupt cops, corrupt FBI agents. Episode one did not let us down. And that clip from the beginning, encapsulizes everything that's going on for season four right there setting up ghost versus angela versus tasha and the thing is i'm trying to figure out right here is this going to be some setup for ghost to get back with tasha because by going after ghost if y'all didn't see last season this might be a little bit of a spoiler so go back and watch that but what happened was the very last episode of last season, Angie puts Ghost in jail, basically thinking that he killed her FBI buddy, and he didn't. And now he's in jail for something he didn't do. Even though she knows about all his drug lord stuff, he's in jail for something he didn't do. And one thing that I like about this show, they're always introducing new characters. They killed off a bunch last season, so they're introducing new guys. God rest his soul, Charlie Murphy is in this movie. He's playing a cop, and you can kind of tell he probably was going through a sickness or whatnot at this point in time. But he's playing um, an inmate jail officer. He's kind of harassing ghosts throughout the movie. And, you know, throughout this, excuse me, throughout the TV series, and throughout this TV series, we're sitting here wondering, is Ghost going to be locked up the whole entire season? And I think they have set it up for that to happen. Because when they go to his bail hearing, they deny it. And throughout the first episode, you kind of see that they don't like him because they assume he's a cop killer. Well, he really didn't do that. So now you got Tommy out on the street trying to control things. And y'all already know Tommy is dumb as a sack of bricks in the ocean. Tasha just got back her son who she thought was kidnapped for ransom, which he was. But 50 Cent's character let him go because they've got a bigger plan going with they trying to get a cut of some of this new drug money that Tommy's supposed to be running because 50 Cent's got an inside man. But the story behind the inside man that works for Ghost in his club is that he's got love for Tasha and Ghost's son. They introduce a new um, lawyer. Uh, I forgot my man's name, but he's a phenomenal actor. You've got Ghost Lawyer, who in his own right is a phenomenal actor. He played in Entourage. And guys, this is just a setup for a phenomenal season. I mean, I think this could be the best one of all of them. When you kind of was wondering, where was they going to go with the story? But whoever's writing this along with 50 Cent, shouts out to you. I really enjoyed episode one. And you guys have helped to make this summer wonderful again. And big shouts out to the cast, to Girl from 3LW, her character is Tasha, Angie, um, Tommy, Ghost, all you guys are doing a great job. Somewhat of a minority show with a lot of diversity, 
and it is wonderfully told. And guys, episode one was bananas. Stay tuned next Sunday for episode two. We will be doing a review of that one and continue to enjoy it. Enjoy the stream. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Check out Power if you've not done so in the past. If you haven't seen it in the past, you could probably start watching this year and catch up with it. But I would tell you, go back and watch all of them. This is one of the best TV series to ever come out. Life Games approved. This series get a 10 out of 10. Till the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.